today, I'm going to attempt to re-grease or re-oil my front differential and my rear differential. I'm going to start by taking the front bumper off. To take the front bumper off, I took out these two screws. And I will need to remove these three screws first. Now I'm going to take off my front assembly here by removing this screw. And then there's a screw under here. And these two screws. I think this is my first time really digging into this in a little bit more of a organized fashion since I'm still kind of a novice. So I've got these two screws. Loosened up. I like using the forceps when getting these screws out. It just makes it a little easier to kind of pull them in and out. Although I just dropped it, so I guess it helped a little bit. To remove the steering servo screw. I probably should have done that first and I completely forgot. Now I have my front assembly off. Since this is kind of my first time kind of digging into this, I've watched a couple videos just trying to get an idea of what to do. I'm going to go ahead and um, take this metal plate off and slide off my support arms. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the inner half of my front axles. So I'm going to go ahead and it's kind of dirty right now, but there's a set screw that goes in each of these. I'm going to unscrew those and then pull this half out to take it off of the front differential. I got my right shaft off. I recommend putting that set screw into that axle just so you don't lose it and repeat that on the other side as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull my shafts out of the support arms. And I actually replaced these a while back. So they just kind of slide out. Just use a pair of pliers, pull them out, set them to the side. Since this is my first time fully disassembling this, I need to get the front differential disconnected from the shock tower and I think I need to take these two screws off from the top and that might be it on this Traxxas Haas we'll find out I did determine there's four screws you can see I've taken three out and I'm about to take the fourth out to remove the shock tower now I'm going to move these two screws from the bottom and see if I can get the diff housing completely removed. That did it. I got it completely removed. However, I think I need to remove this as well. But it's not exactly the same as I expected. So I'm going to clean this up, get the dirt out, the grease. I'm gonna clean this out. It looks okay, but I've just been noticing a slight squeak on the front end, so I wanted to kind of re-grease this and re-oil it. I'm gonna start by cleaning this grease out where it was sitting on there, just to get all the gunk out. This one, these are kind of lint-free shop towels I've got. I also put on some gloves. I'm gonna shoot a little WD-40 in there and just see if I can't get that cleaned out a little bit more. Kind of wipe that out and then I'll start on this. So I removed the front half of the diff housing and I'm going to just kind of clean this housing up a little bit here because you can tell I've got a lot of dust and dirt on the outside so that's what I'm going to do now. Just kind of wipe it down 
maybe spray with a WD-40 on it just to kind of get some of the gunk off of it just so I don't get anything into the gears. When I'm done, I'd seen online where somebody had suggested using coffee filters to kind of put your parts in and then we'll clean up the parts within that just to kind of and use that to so just keep the lint and grit off of the gears. So I'm just going to kind of store my clean outer housings on one of these. Just keep it off my little mat here. I've got grass on and stuff. And now I'm going to take the uh, dip house, um, the differential out of this. And you can see, you know, it's got, it, it looks a little light on the grease. So it's probably a good thing I went ahead and pulled this off. I'm going to go ahead and clean the outside of this up, take these bearings out. You can see there's a lot of gunk on those. I just ran a lot of sand. So I'm gonna clean those bearings up really with some WD-40. Got those bearings cleaned up. Just remember the uh, fatter one goes on this side of the gear. And then the little other one goes on this side. Just kind of keep track of where the parts come off of. If you're like me, sometimes you just kind of forget. So now I'm gonna clean the outside of this off really good and then I'm gonna take these four screws out when I pull this out there should be a seal underneath so I'm gonna start that so I got the outside nice and clean now I'm gonna take these screws out so I've loosened all four of the screws I tried to loosen them up so they stay in the, the gear and then if you look it comes apart and as I'm looking in here and inspecting, from what it sounded like, you want about three quarters of the oil in there. And I'm probably about half full, but it looks a little gunky. So I think it's probably a good thing that I'm starting to do this. Even though this is a newer one, I'm just getting used to the maintenance and things that I need to do to maintain the vehicle. There's also a little rubber ring that you have to take out. I'm gonna take it out in a moment. I forgot to clean up my other half of the housing. I'm going to do that real quick. And I also need to take off the uh, drivetrain gear thing here and this as well. So there's a little set screw right here that I need to take out, pull this off, and then I can get that whatever the gear name is out of there. So I pulled that gear out of the housing after taking this thing off. And here's Here's the gear, and then there's a uh, sealed bearing in there as well. There's two, one on the outside, see how dirty it is, and then one on the inside. I'm going to take those out, clean them up. I pulled those bearings, got my housing kind of cleaned up here, pulled those bearings out, cleaned them up. I put them back in just to make sure I keep them all where they need to be. And uh, I'm going to clean up this gear real good, and then reinsert it as well just to keep everything together so I don't have to track so many parts as I start reassembling it. Now I've got this part all cleaned up. I'm going to set it over here where I'm keeping my housing and the other more external parts together. And if you don't have one already I do highly recommend and you can get other brands but this Traxxas toolkit has been a lifesaver. I was trying to use a lot of my other tools and this has just got everything I need to work on this RC vehicle. It makes it so much easier. So I went ahead, took my four screws off this, cleaned them up a little bit with some WD-40. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this uh, spur gear, I guess that's what it's called, clean it up real good. Now I did make a mistake. I did not see this seal on here, so I need to pull that and set it, to clean it up and set it to the side. There's another seal in here. I'm gonna take it out, clean it up, put it to the side, and then I'm gonna take these. Uh, I started pouring the oil out. I think I got most of it out. So I'm gonna do that. Now. Actually, my eyes deceived me. I thought there was a seal in that, but it was the seal that stuck on the other gear. Uh, I guess it's just one. So now I got this all, I'm going to kind of push this up and I can kind of grab a hold of this. I'm going to take these out, clean them up real good with some WD-40. Went ahead and I uh, cleaned up the housing, got all the, the gunk out of there. So now I'm going to set it to the side and make sure I don't get any particulates in there. Now I'm going to take this 
differential gears. There's a pin that runs through here. I'm gonna push it out, pull these all apart, and wash them up really good. There's a little rubber seal here as well, so just be cautious of it. Okay, I've got all my parts cleaned up. Now I'm gonna start reassembling. When I reassemble, uh, I did some research online. I don't know, right or wrong, but since this is you know, new for me, I'm gonna go with 50K. Um, here, the uh, Traxxas diff fluid. I got the pack, the 10, 30, and 50. From what it sounds like, since I am a newbie, that, you know, put the, I guess it's the heavier on the front and a little thinner in the back. And the hand. I'm hoping this helps in the woods because I do a lot more of the off-roading. And I guess if it doesn't work out, I'll go back and I think it's 30 in the front, 10 in the back, I think from Traxxas, but I would have to verify that. So I've reassembled, and you notice how the gears are <clears throat> out to the sides. You wanna make sure that you've got them oriented correctly. You can also, you know, it's hard to do one-handed here, but turn the shaft down, you know, and make sure it all turns. So I'm gonna get ready to start reassembling the rest of this. Um, everything it sounds like is to put about you know, two third, three quarter amount of the oil or the diff lube in this casing. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Next thing I did was I took this gear out of that spur gear thing and uh, placed it on top. So getting in position and then I've got my seal in position here as well. So I can take This will go over like that. I screwed in, you can see here, opposite corners first, and then I'm gonna do the other ones just to make sure that I get everything sealed down appropriately and doesn't get off. You know, almost like you would do a tire on a car. All right. So I've now got it reassembled, and now I'm gonna have to start putting this all back together, and then I need to we grease the gears around here and we'll do that in a second so i've replaced the bearings back on this now i need to place this back into my housing and then grease it if you notice i'm using all traxxas branded stuff um, i'm assuming it's the best and i want to make sure that i'm keeping my vehicle running in optimum performance so now I've got this, I'm gonna take my tracks of silicone grease and I am going to smear that over this gear and just keep rotating that to smear it completely. I think now I've got a nice coating and I'm going to put my other half on and just start reassembling this. At some point, maybe this weekend, I'm gonna replace my, uh, my turning stuff and uh, casters. I got it the uh, Traxxas aluminum alloy replacements. I don't think I'm gonna do it today though. And then at some point this weekend, I'm also gonna do my rear differential. I put the front differential housing onto the base here. I'm gonna get my two screws and latch this in so I don't have to keep holding this this way. Now I've got it, the bottom mounted, I need to get this all back in position, get the, uh, the shock tower back in place, and just kind of reassemble it based upon how you took it apart. It's the best thing I can suggest. You just keep track of your parts, where you took them off, your screws, what kind of screw. It makes it a lot easier for sure. Got the shock tower back installed. Now I need to put this back on and then just start reassembling everything so now when you're putting the front assembly back onto this i can tell you it's going to be tricky because of the uh, center drive shaft got my axles back in place got my pins back in place for my support arms just gotta put my plate on slide this on the front screw it in good to go 
As I said, this is my first time really pulling this completely apart like this. I've taken it apart, replaced some odd and end pieces, but I had not fully disassembled the front end and also taken apart the uh, front differential. So this was a first for me. I got some more cleanup here I think I'm gonna do, but before I put this on, but uh, good luck. I hope this kind of helps from a newbie perspective. And I hope that I used the right lube on that front differential just based on what I was reading online. Thanks.